and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would do a little sit down video i feel like i haven't done one of these in quite a while especially one like just me so i thought i would sit down today answer some of the questions that you guys want to know and just have a little chat a little catch up with you guys obviously i've been away and i just feel like I've not spoke to you guys in a long, long time. So I've asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. And I'm just going to sit, have a chat and answer some of them for you guys. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to smash a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to turn the post notification bell on. You don't miss any of the videos. Follow me on Instagram. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, disclaimer, I have... It's not really a disclaimer, but just thought I'd let you guys know. I've had my hair extensions out, which is why my hair is in low bun. I look like an egg, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm getting them put back in next week. So I have got short hair for the time being, but there we go. It feels good to have like a good hair wash. But anyway, I'm going to open up my Instagram and answer some of the questions. So let's go. Also, this jumbo is so big for me. And it's so big around the neck. It's really annoying. But anyway, right. Let's see what you guys want to know. So first question is, any holidays planned for the rest of the year? So yes, we really want to go away quite a lot this year, obviously, to make up for COVID years. Um, so obviously, we just got back from Spain. We want to go away again in June, just us two. And then July, we want to go away again. Whoever wants to go. <laughs> um, maybe even I might plan a girls trip or a trip with Lee and Ellie, something like that. And then August, I'm going away with uh, Brian and Holly's family. And then September, we're going away again. And October, I think we might be going to Dubai. So yeah, we've got quite a few things planned this year, which I'm so excited about. So grateful that we get to go on so many nice holidays. And I really want to fly as much as I can because I don't have a fear of flying. Obviously, I don't like flying, but I don't hate it. I want to try and go as many places as possible to build up my situation with flying. So, okay, so this is a question I get asked a lot. It's how do you stay in shape? Do you work out? All questions about fitness and stuff like that. You guys know... I am not the best eater. I'm such a fussy eater. If I'm honest, like the gym, I just don't like the gym. I don't know what it is. I feel like everyone's looking at me and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And I feel like people are judging me like, oh, she's not doing it right. So personally for me, the gym isn't for me. I'd rather go on a run or a walk. Um, but if I'm honest, like I don't, you know, like Instagram is literally a filter. Like it is a real life filter. And you know, every angle is different. Like, <laughs> like I don't know it's so hard to explain but like I'm I'm not this like perfect person that Instagram is made out to be like all angles are different everyone looks different from their Instagram so yeah honestly I do want to like get in not even get into the gym like I want to get into like I don't know like doing more exercise I don't know it's definitely something that I want to do this year yeah but that is the honest answer to your question how do you stay in shape I really need to try harder doing that but yeah when are you doing another zara haul i'm dying for one i haven't done a zara haul in a long long time i've bought a lot in zara lately i'm gonna go to zara probably this week or next week so if you guys want to see a zara haul let me know in the comments down below and i'll defo do one for you i love zara like summer zara is just the best so yeah i'll defo do one soon if that's what you guys want any plans for the bank holiday weekend i i always forget that it's bank holiday weekend um, i think it's gonna be sunny actually but um we have got adam's birthday tomorrow so we're going to london to celebrate that and then sunday i'm going out for lunch with my dad and stepmom and my sister down and the baby and then monday we're just popping to see my mum because she gets back from spain on sunday so yeah we're going to see her on monday but yeah just a chilled one really but this is a question that i literally get all the time it's when's your brand to propose when are you getting engaged when's brandon going to propose to you and to be honest like i literally have no idea like when i think of myself getting engaged like i think like I'm 22 years old, like, I feel so young. But like, we have been together four years, like we have our own house together, like we've got a dog, like I feel further ahead than I should be for my for my age. I don't know, it feels weird. Like, I feel so young, but I don't know, like that's down to him, like whenever he feels ready. But like, we've always said like, the time will just be right and like, there is no rush. Like we don't wanna be together. Like I don't need him to propose to me to like, know that he wants to be with me forever. So I just think it will happen when it wants to happen. Like there's no pressure. I. I would never say to him like i wouldn't be proposed to you by the end of the year like I sh it's just not me uh but yeah I, I suppose he'll just do it when he's ready and i know him so well that he won't want me to have a single clue he'll want it to be a huge surprise um so if he is going to propose to me soon i wouldn't have a clue because i know he would definitely keep it on the down line the one thing i have said to him though is i said please make sure i have my nails done which most of the time i do but i said please make sure that i've got none missing and they're all fresh and i don't want it to be in front of all my family like that would literally be my what biggest nightmare if i was in like 
a space where all my friends and family were there and they watched me get to propose to. Like, that is literally my worst nightmare. So, I don't mind, like, random public. But, like, this is what I mean. Like, I am going to dread my wedding day. Well, I'm going to dread my wedding day. But, like, my biggest fear on my wedding day is walking down the aisle and everyone looking at me. Like, I hate, I hate the idea of that. But, anyway, you got to do what you got to do. So, yeah, I have no idea to answer that question. But, yeah, well, I'm sure we will one day. Okay, this is a good question. When do you get... When you get your hair dyed, what do you ask for? So I always answer questions about my extensions. Um, but to answer my colour questions, I I always get highlights. Um, I've never, well, I've had balayage once, I'll explain in a second. But I always just get highlights. I have loads of blonde baby lights. This is basically as blonde as I can go, pretty much. Um, I just go to blow and blush in the area where I am. And they just know me now so they just do the same thing for me every time like, i don't really say like oh can i have this 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 they just literally do it for me i have yeah like full head of highlights a toner and then my extensions um my last time around i had went a little bit darker um but i decided i didn't like it so much so i've gone back to blonde i literally had this done like a couple of days ago and i'm getting my extensions fitted again next week but um extension wise that color match this i use beauty works pure platinum and ice blonde mixed or the shade molly may so that's the shade that matches my blonde. Are you and Brandon wanting to move again soon? So obviously we bought this house in August. Um, I think we'll definitely be here for a couple of years. Um, it's obviously a three bed house and like it's big enough for us right now. Um, we'll probably have our first child here hopefully. Um, but it's not our forever home. Like we want to have a bigger garden. We want to have like a full on driveway and things like that. So this is our dream first house we could ever have bought. Like we couldn't imagine anything more for our first house. It's not our like dream forever home. So we won't be here forever for the rest of our lives. But yeah, like we love this house so much. Um, the only thing that I keep replaying in my mind is like, where am I going to put the baby's nursery like obviously it was sleep in our room for like the first however many months but like because our whole top floor is our bedroom and then downstairs is obviously my room brown's room and the bathroom like i can't put the baby on the floor down there like i don't i don't literally don't know what i'm gonna do like it hurts my brain thinking of it so i just can't think of it but and if anyone's got any ideas please let me know because obviously i need to be on the same floor as the baby so like Oh, I don't know. I, I literally don't know what I'm going to do. I literally don't know what I'm going to do, but that is the answer to your question. Okay, the next question is, how can we sometimes wear glasses and sometimes you don't? This is such a good question. I used to be so insecure wearing my glasses. Like, I, I still hate my glasses now. Like, if I can get away with not wearing them, like, I genuinely won't. But if I do not wear my glasses, I literally cannot see. I remember, I can't remember where I was. I think I was at college once and I didn't wear my glasses. And there was a couple of girls that said, like oh, I didn't think you was very nice because you was giving me evils and stuff. And I was like, no, like, I literally cannot see about my glasses. So I'd, like, squint at people. Um, so, yeah, I hate wearing my glasses. But I cannot see a thing without them. But I need to find some new glasses. But none of them suit me. Like, no cool, trendy glasses suit me. Like, only my little geeky ones suit me. But I need to find some new glasses because just... I just hate them so much. Most of the time, if you guys see me out in public, I will probably have my glasses on. Um, but if I don't and you guys see me and I don't smile back or something, that is why. Because I literally cannot see you. But, um, yeah, it's I hate wearing them so much. Like, I wish that I could see normally. Like, I would love to know what it's like to just be able to see without wearing glasses. But this is another one, actually, that's quite a good one. How do you feel about all the pregnancy announcements? Do you feel pressure? I feel like... Every single person I know is having a baby. Like, not necessarily my age. There's quite a few people my age. But, like, there's people younger than me. And there's people having, like, kids, like, all over social media. I wouldn't say I feel pressure. I'd say it makes me feel broody. Like, it makes me feel excited. It makes me feel like I want to share it with you guys. But it's, like, it's just the right... Like, it's got to be the right time for me and Brandon. Like, only us two know when the right time is. Like, I'm not... I'm never going to compare myself to other people and be like, oh, well, they shouldn't be having kids before me. Like, I just... It's got to feel right for both of us. And it will. Like, one day it will. I don't know when it will be. I don't know how long away it will be. I don't know if it's going to be soon. I don't know if it's going to be, like, a long time away. Like, I just don't know. Like, as I said about the marriage question, like, I still feel so young. So, but, um, no, I definitely don't feel pressure. If anything, it just makes me broody. Really, really broody. But, yeah, the time will come, guys. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Like, if I'm even lucky enough to have children um but yeah hopefully i'm sure one day we'll make all your guys' dreams come true do you have a holiday home in spain or do you just book one so we have a villa in spain my family have a villa in spain well it's my nan and granddad's villa um and we have gone there literally since 
I was a baby, like I can't even remember. Basically grew up there, like every year we'd go on holiday to Spain, literally we wouldn't go anywhere else, we'd just go to Spain every single year and yeah, that's where all our holidays were. So we have this like big villa, it sleeps like 10 people I think. And yeah, it was the first year that I went back in like, God knows, like way before COVID, like way before I met Brandon. Um, and so yeah, I went back for like the first time, Brandon there for the first time as well. So yeah, it was good. Obviously we didn't have the best weather. I would really want to go back again when the weather's nice because more things are open, more shops are open, there's more life. Uh, like we go to the beach and stuff like it's just so much better in um like the summer months but yeah we had a really nice time it was nice to be away and spend time with my family so yeah but to answer your question we do have a villa in spain this is a good question i think someone said where do you see yourself in five years it's so hard to tell isn't it because like five years is far away but also it will come around really quickly i think i would like to say that i would if i like to have my first child in the next five years and i suppose be engaged like yeah like five years how old will i be in five years i'll be 27 so yeah i would like to be engaged i think we will probably be in a different house by then and yeah i think just be happy and be in a good relationship and yeah like do more traveling and i don't know like it's so hard yeah like i want to branch out into other things as well like do more than just social media like do more than just youtube like me and brandon want to have our own brand together we want to branch out and do other things so yeah i think definitely that like venturing out more in our career like coming out of our comfort zone a little bit more and yeah probably have a family channel as well by that point which would be exciting but yeah that is probably where i see myself in five years time right i'm gonna end on this question this is like an advice sort of advice sort of question um how did you become a youtuber and any tips love you izzy love you too um how did i become a youtuber obviously self-explanatory um you guys obviously know that i started youtube because of my boyfriend brandon but i can promise you now it was not easy like brandon defo gave me a uh, head start but i worked my butt off for i would probably say six months before i was even ready to announce you guys i had a channel like i was practicing editing like i was preparing for everything like planning loads of video ideas learning everything helping brandon like trying to build up my instagram i literally worked my butt off like unpaid for six months i would say um and even when i started youtube like there's only so much brandon can help me so like my audience like i built my own audience like I built my channel all myself. Brand has never edited a single one of my videos. Like, it was all my own hard work. So, yeah, I know because I obviously get a lot of comments like, oh, you only came from Brand. And, like, if you want to put it that way, I guess I did. But, um, Brand doesn't do all my work for me. Like, I produce my own work um, and I do everything for myself. So, yeah, I, obviously that's how I became a YouTuber. And, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, it's so hard. I say, like, tips for YouTube, I'd say definitely just be yourself and be consistent. I say they're my two top. Being consistent is so important. Consistency is key. Be yourself and people will love you for you. And I would say keep at it. Like, don't give up and don't worry about what anyone has to think so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love having a little sit down like catch up video um but yeah i'm gonna go and edit this video now i need to go in the shower and scrub off my tan and refake tan for tomorrow i completely forgot to wash my outfit but it was stain on the blazer but i think it should be fine for tomorrow but i'll have to go and try and figure that out in a minute but yeah if you want any more questions answered just dm me on instagram um it's just erin boya i have my name changed to just erin boya so it's not erin boya underscore anymore um but yeah dm me or i do question boxes on my instagram all the time so if you want any questions advice tips and things like that then just dm me but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please be sure to smash a big thumbs up for me subscribe if you're new don't forget to turn my post notification bell on so you don't miss any other videos follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys with a brand new video on wednesday at 6 p.m bye